there are many agentic ai frameworks out there and we are going to talk about some of the no code and with code frameworks in with code frameworks we'll discuss agno langgraph crew ai etc in no code we'll quickly review and it and, and make let's talk about agno it's very lightweight and super fast framework to build agentic ai application if you want to build an agent that performs really fast and also you want to save on your development time then agno should be your choice you can see that creating agent is is as easy as writing this one line where you specify model then tools then instructions and when you run this code it will write a report on nvidia so see i run this code and it will write a comprehensive report on nvidia agno comes up with lot of tools so uh, if you look at their tools you will see uh, they have so many different tools integrated say discord email gmail like slack whatever and then they also have this mcp integration so if you want to use some of the existing mcp servers you can just import mcp tools and you can use that mcp tool as a tools argument in your agent class and that way you can uh, utilize all the mcp servers which are out there uh, on the internet they also provide knowledge memory reasoning or uh, whatever support you need to build a reliable agent on their github you can check some of their performance statistics they have compared it with langgraph and you will see based on this statistics agno is super fast the second one is langgraph which is a reliable multi step custom workflow framework so if you want to build something really custom a uh, multi step uh, workflow which is very reliable then langgraph should be your choice langgraph is part of langchain ecosystem langchain is one of the most popular library out there when you talk about building llm application so langgraph obviously is very popular it is being used by many companies uh, langchain and langgraph have one issue which is they release a new version and it will be sometimes backward incompatible so i know some of my friends who were working with this and they were getting extremely frustrated with this backward incompatible change but now they have improved you know they are also becoming mature and this is the framework that you must know if you are building agentic ai applications here i want to also show you the code for langgraph where you can uh, build this kind of stateful graph okay this is a simple graph but you can have a complex graph and you can orchestrate your work via this graph there can be retry there can be feedback loop okay so this can build a reliable agent with multi turn approach for you then comes crew ai this is useful especially when you are building multi agent systems with orchestration so here i have a sample code where i have created a crew so crew means multiple agent right so here in the crew class you will specify both of your agent you will also specify task which it will execute in sequence okay and if you look at agent there is a research agent and there is a writer agent okay and also you have tools here see here you have serper dev tool so now you specify all these agents as a crew okay so crew is mainly for building multi agent system where you specify crew which is individual agents and they will work together to perform set of task then comes google adk and open ai adk google adk provides tight gcp uh, integration i have a friend who is a head of chatbot division in a company here in us that uses google mainly okay they use vertex they use google cloud so for companies which are deep into google ecosystem it makes sense that you use google adk but one downside of google and even open ai adk is that these adks are designed specifically for their llm so open ai adk will have a very good integration with open ai models but let's say using open ai adk if you want to integrate with google model or let's say cloud model i mean they will provide support but i don't think it is in their best interest to provide integration with some third party llms right so because of this vendor lockins what i personally like is some kind of open source model agnostic framework like langgraph or agno you know they are not tied to a specific vendor whereas these uh, frameworks are designed by specific companies and they have this interest that okay you know client should be using their own llms okay so if let's say you are using open ai or, or already like in your organization you have been using open ai you are deep into open ai ecosystem then of course you can go ahead and use it otherwise i would personally prefer using 
Crua, Langraf, Agno, etc. So this is a table which will provide you a quick summary. So Langraf is a reliable multi-step workflow framework. It is uh, having this key feature, state machine graph, memory retries, and the learning curve is medium. Now, if you look at the most easiest learning curve, that is Agno, okay? So if you want to build uh, super fast, quick agents, go with Agno. If you want to build multi-step workflows with state machines, you know, state graphs, go with Langgraph. For multi-agent system, go with Crew AI. And if you are deeper into OpenAI or Google ADK, uh, Google ecosystem, you know, in your company, then you can choose one of these two. To learn some of these frameworks, I have complete tutorials. I will provide link of all these tutorials below so you can have like a complete crash course. Now talking about no code, we have Anatan and Make. There are many other tools out there, but Anatan is kind of very popular nowadays. So let me just show you. So Anatan provides this kind of low code um, agent building. So let's say if you are a person who doesn't know coding, you are a marketing person, you are a salesperson, and you want to use drag and drop to build agentic workflows, then Anatan and even make.com is perfect for you. Here you're using graphical user interface. You can see, see, you can integrate with different platforms like HubSpot, Outlook, and uh, you know, you can integrate different models like Anthropic or Google Gemini. You can connect with Postgres and so on. You can then send a message to uh, the Slack channel. So these kind of low code frameworks are making it easy for non-technical folks to build agentic AI workflows. All right, folks, so which framework is the best? Well, it depends. If you don't want to do coding, if you want to build agents using no code, uh, graphical user interface, then go with Anatan or Make. If you want to build customized workflows, right? And uh, if you want to build very fast agents, then go with Agno. If you want to build uh, super customized stateful agents, then go with Langgraph. For multi-agents, go with Crew AI. And uh, if you are into Google or OpenAI ecosystem, uh, you can choose one of these two. So based on the situation, you can evaluate which framework is the best one for you. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, post in the comment box below. If you, if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are learning agentic AI.